Looking for some cool electronics projects? Today I'll show you how to turn everyday items into amazing gadgets. From building your own Bluetooth speaker to creating a candle-powered phone charger, these projects are simple and fun. Let's dive in and start making something awesome. Remove the terminal from the car spark plug. Disassemble an AA battery and extract the graphite rod. Clean the graphite rod with a wet wipe. Strip the wire and insert it into the spark plug hole. Place the graphite rod into the same spark plug hole. Connect one wire to the positive terminal of the car battery. Touch the graphite rod with the second wire and electric arc will appear. Now you can perform spot welding. Place two razor blades on top of each other, press the negative wire to the bottom blade, and touch the top one with the graphite electrode, they will be welded together. Take a car cigarette lighter charger and solder a 9V battery connector to its contacts. Secure the connector to the charger case with glue. Connect the battery. Connect a USB cable to the resulting device. Now you can charge your phone from the battery anywhere. Take an unwanted electric motor with a gear. Glue a pencil sharpener to the motor's gear. Mount the electric motor on a wooden stand. Install a wooden guide block with a hole opposite the sharpener. Connect a 9V battery through a switch to the electric motor. Secure the battery and switch to the stand. Done! Now you have your own electric pencil sharpener. Prepare a small speaker. Take an aluminum can and cut a hole in the lid to fit the speaker. Find a lithium-ion battery from an old phone. You'll also need this type of Bluetooth module that can be powered by a lithium-ion battery and has many interesting features. If you don't know where to find it, we'll provide a link in the description. Connect all the wires, carefully insulate the connections. Connect the speaker to the circuit. Make a side hole in the can. Insert the Bluetooth module into the hole and seal it with glue. Securely attach the speaker to the top of the can. Find the new device in your phone's Bluetooth device list and connect. Done! Now you have your own portable Bluetooth speaker.
Take a regular incandescent light bulb with a large base. Remove the internal parts of the base, leaving only the glass bulb. Also remove the contents of the bulb. Prepare a small wooden block. Solder LEDs together in the shape of a decorative tree. Make a hole in the wood and insert a small tube into it. Run the wire through the tube and connect it to the LED construction. Cover the LED composition with the prepared glass bulb. Connect the device to the USB port of the charger you've created an original holiday lamp with twinkling lights. Here's a Peltier element, it's a thermoelectric converter that generates electric current when there's a temperature difference between its sides. Take a tin can, cut off the bottom and make side holes. Apply thermal paste to its surface. Install the Peltier element on the thermal paste. Also apply thermal paste to the Peltier element. Place a computer heatsink on top of the Peltier element. Connect a charge controller with USB port to the circuit. If you don't know where to find this and other components, we'll leave links in the video description. Connect your phone charging cable to the controller's USB port. Place the construction over a candle, the temperature difference will make the Peltier element generate electricity. Done! Now you have an unusual charging device that works from candle heat. Take copper wire and bend it in a random pattern. Secure the wire ends in pen cases and glue them to a wooden board. Solder a buzzer and connect it to a 9 volt battery. Solder one wire from the battery to the copper wire. Make a loop at the end of a small wire and solder a wire to it.
was heat shrink tubing on the connection and heated. Solder the second end of the wire from the loop to the circuit. When the loop touches the copper wire, the buzzer signals. The attention and coordination game is ready to guide the loop from start to finish of the wire, trying not to touch it. Take a 9 volt battery and connect a connector with wires to it. Use hot glue to attach a small electric motor to the bottom of the battery. Glue the switch to the side of the battery. Connect the wires to the electric motor. Secure all connections with hot glue. Take a round plastic part and glue two short pieces of thick wire to it as guide rods. Attach the plastic part with rods to the motor shaft. Put the thread on the guide rods. Turn on the device, you've got a compact motorized thread winding machine. I hope these ideas will be useful to you. All electronic components used in the video can be found through the links in the description. Good luck with your creative projects and see you next time!